my dear friends welcome back to my channel my name is princess tacha and today is so special because we're gonna find out the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you all right now in front of you there are three beautiful pictures your job is super easy imagine the question the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you Pick the first picture that comes into your mind. Please remember, you are welcome to watch more than one group or welcome to pick more than one picture because there must be another message for you there. I'll see you on your reading. Hi, group number one. Welcome back to my channel. Back with me, your girl, Princess Tasha. Today, we're going to find out that uh, the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, all right? Since you're picking group number one, this is your reading. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Please support my channel by subscribing it, okay? Click the subscribe button. It will help me with my YouTube algorithm. It will make me easier to get your energy for the next reading. And in return, you really help my channel to grow. Alright, group uh, number one, as you can see it here, remember the picture that you pick? One, 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 okay? You got the forest. The time has finally come for this secret of the forest to be revealed to you, my dear group number one. With the forest card here, some of you literally now um, embarking to something that feels not familiar, okay? You're like handling a lot of things that you need a, you need a guidance, okay? This feels like the jungle for you. The card of the forest wants to reveal to you a secret that you probably feel a little bit afraid right now or anxious or worry about your future, okay? But the forest card wants to give you a secret that for you, you need to see this, whatever it is that is in front of you as a place to play like a child playing in the forest there is this activity of exploring exploring the forest exploring the magical things that happened in the forest and also um, this one to reveal to you that you are about to discover a secret mystical treasure such as the magic of the forest. But then in order for you to discover that secret, in order for you to experience the magical things about the forest, you need to first enter it. You enter that forest, you enter that things that feel unfamiliar for you. And then you get lost within it, okay? After you enter it, you get lost. You may think that there is a path to lead you straight through out the forest. But my dear group number one, soon enough, okay, this one to reveal to you that soon enough you realized that there is, there is this called pathless. Mm -hmm. So there is not just one path. There are a lot of paths, but even there's no paths at all. There are tricksters here and there. And then there is this equally friends and foes along the way. Okay? So you will experience how you find the people that genuinely um, in your tribe and the people that just come here and there to waste your energy to underestimate you. 
But then this reading want to reveal the secret to you to see that all as part of an adventure you know imagine that you are having this great adventure in the forest and see those things that you experienced those things that you watch the things that come to you as part of the experiences you know that the forest has to offer for you you need to embrace when you need uh, to sleep among the trees Embrace the moment when you don't have your flashlight. Instead, you need to dim your light and sleep in darkness. Whether it's literally or it's imagination. But these secrets want to reveal to you that you need to be brave. You need to build your strength. You need to have the courage in order to find your unique path. The path that belongs only to you to go throughout the forest. And it doesn't mean that the path is one path that everyone follow, that everyone has. Maybe this path is pathless. Maybe this path is just specifically designed just for you to survive, to win this challenge in the forest. You know, only the brave one at that loss could ever find themselves again. Okay, this one to reveal to you that have a more of a childlike nature, you know, nurture your inner child for that adventure, for a sense of studying, a sense of learning, you know, experience those things. Okay, and how, how you can actually win this game of forest, right? You have the offering okay you also have the vision you have discovery you have nightingale Okay. With the offering, unlike other cards, okay, the offering here finally, you know, this secret needs to be revealed to you that the offering, in order to win, the game of the forest. You need to give something. It is the time for you to give something for the sake of the bigger picture. You need to take time to do meditation, to ask yourself, to pray to God, to ask to the universe, to sit in silence and thinking. Think with your soul and with your heart. Okay, group number one. Think how you want to actually give something, what you need to give right now. Because you will get the vision what you need to give. Something need to be given. Something need to be sacrificed. Something need to be given like your time, your energy, your attention. Your dedication of time to pray, to do spiritual practices, to do charity, to give donation. And the donation can be anything. You know, it can be money, it can be food for poor, poor people. It can be your time, volunteer. There is something that you need to give. And most of the time, it is practical things, okay? Even if you don't give money, even you don't give money, you still give your time. You give your energy into something. There is something that you absolutely need to give here. Okay. There is something that when you give it, 
you actually like kind of like plant a good seeds. You might not realize it right now, but then actually that thing will add a good karma to you that for some reason kind of help you to get out of the forest, to find a way and to win the game of surviving in the forest. And even you can feel happier in the forest. Okay, you feel more fulfilled, you feel more satisfied. With the vision, this is about the sun in pieces. Regardless of your sun sign, there is this energy of the sun in pieces that this reading wants to reveal to you, okay? The secret wants to reveal to you. The card of this sun in pieces describing as someone that is sensitive, to the thoughts and feelings of others. In many ways, this sympathy and feeling for others can easily seduce the sun pieces into becoming and doing what others want. But right now, sit in silence with yourself and ask yourself, what do you want? What do you want to have in this lifetime? What do you want to achieve in this lifetime? Ask the guidance that you need to have, you know, do some prayer, you know, pray to God, ask the guidance, pray to the universe, pray to spirit, whoever it is that you pray to, or do the spiritual practice or meditation, because more than likely you will get the vision, you will get the guidance through the vision, it will appear to you, so that's the secret that need to be revealed right now. Okay, that you about to get the vision of what it is that you truly want to have, of what it is the thing that you actually want to achieve in this life, and what kind of person that you want to be to survive and winning in the game of life called the forest. Now, with the sun in pieces, this is also about a sacrifice again, okay? A sacrifice of your time. Maybe you have been giving a lot to this project, you've been giving a lot to this relationship, but you're about to receive and attract miracles. You're about to attract good things in your life, and you kind of see it in your vision. It either can come into uh, your dreams, or you see synchronicity, you see angel numbers, 111, 1111. Okay, you will see some sort of synchronicities that give you a vision of what you actually desire in this lifetime. And in order to get something that you desire, in order to be the winner in the forest, you need to give offering. You need to give some sort of effort and something. And it's so unique for each and every one of you. And to know that, you need to discover and have the vision. With the card of this discovery, you're being asked to discover your journey. You're being asked to develop your strength and courage to see um, the forest for what it is. Okay? With the discovery, this is the card Mercury in Sagittarius. Regardless of your Mercury located in your birth chart, there is this secret that needs to be revealed to you in this reading about Mercury in Sagittarius. There is this energy that you about to be visited, someone will visit you. Okay, so that's a specific message for you. Someone will visit you. It's either your family, your loved ones, your friends, your sibling, your boss, and that person come from far away too, okay? That's another specific message for you. This person who will visit you, the one will come far away. It's either from other town, other city, other state, or even other nation. Some of you literally about to have this connection with people far away. 
you will build some sort of connection, some sort of uh, cooperation, some sort of collaboration to together discover this forest, to together establish some sort of um, uh, friendly cooperation to actually win the forest, to actually create your, your guy's path, okay? So that's also another specific message for you. There is someone that you will connect it. This person more than likely have some sort of different cultural background, nationalities, race, gender with you. It could be also from same gender, but you guys have a different culture. And this person will more than likely help you to create your path to pass through this forest. So always be kind and always respect other people that you meet, especially a stranger, because you just don't know where this person gonna be, who is this person gonna be, okay? And another thing also, you about to plan a long trip, I said here. So this is the secret that be revealed to you. You plan a trip. You about to go somewhere. I see that this year, you about to embark on a journey. You plan a trip to go somewhere because the Mercury in Sagitt Sagittarius is the card about discovery. When this card appears in the question of um, the secret to be revealed to you is about you going somewhere. You're going the distance. You will go somewhere for trip, for business trip, for pleasure, for family, for honeymoon in the near future. And time is illusion. So it could be um, this year, it could be next month, it could be in summer or even next a year or two but there is this big card of discovery this is the world okay and then this is um the mummy okay symbolizes history and knowledge so you really gaining new perspective from this person that about to visit you from this person that about to enter your life too that's also possible now you also gonna follow some sort of guru, some sort of mentor, some sort of coach, some sort of teaching, okay? So there's this person that gonna guide you to, to create your path, to give you suggestion how to create a better path to survive in this forest. Very interesting. Now I wonder what's the role of this mummy? What is the role of this mentor? Because the mummy is in the discovery card in the Mercury in Sagittarius is a representation of knowledge and history. Now I want to know what is that mummy very significant role in your life in the forest? That mummy will more than likely is really good with communication. Nightingale. Yes. They or he or she or them will be the nightingale that help you in the forest. That give you some sort of guidance, some sort of uh, friend, some sort of companion. This nightingale is actually... You know, the song of the nightingale is otherworldly. This simple brown bird, almost unnoticeable among the flashy plumage of other birds. So this person, you probably will not gonna realize this person. But for some reason, the presence of this person, even though it's far away, it truly has meaningful impact in your life. How they can actually give you a little bit guidance, even accompany you, as simple as accompany you, going through daily life. And it can also be someone online or someone that you meet in physical life. You don't have to communicate directly with this person, but for some reason, this person give you some sort of companion, some sort of guidance, some sort of guru, some sort of like a very friendly companion I sit here. Because Nightingale is a very friendly bird and they are really good with communication. So this Nightingale has a power of communication. And for some reason, they kind of give you some sort of discovery. They help you discover the secret of the forest. They help you creating your own path, make you realize of your own potential. So this Nightingale has the power to speak to your heart. They even speak freely with kindness to you and you kind of can feel it with your heart. You don't have to see this nightingale. You can even just hear it. You can even just sense it in your daily life, okay? 
that's why I'm saying this could be the connection that you create online or in physical life. So when this card appears, there is this secret that needs to be revealed to you, which is you need to open the bridge between your heart and the voice, between the voice and your heart. Open your heart to new messages that come to you. Let it speak to you. Let it motivate you. Let it make you feel better. Let it boost your mood, okay, to find a way in the forest to win. Now, Let's find out what other secrets that need to be revealed, okay? The time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, group number 111. You have the lovers. You have the King of Pentacles. You have the Five of Swords. Okay. You have the Eight of Cups. Just put it here. Okay, group number one. Let me tell you. This nightingale will gonna give you some sort of confidence to go to the battles, to go to competition. The secret about this competition is you're gonna win. You're gonna win. But then the King of Pentacles is the card of visionary. It's the card of being generous. It is true to say that this reading is pretty accurate to you to tell that the vision again appeared to confirm the sun in pieces, vision. And the King of Pentacles is the card about being visionary. And also being generous is about the offering. So how to win the competition? How to win in the competition in the forest. And when we talk about competition, it's not about a healthy competition. How to win something that meant to break you down, right? Something that, may, that, that meant to make you give up. Mm -hmm. A healthy competition will inspire you to do better. A healthy competition will give you motivation to reach better, to achieve better, to run faster. But unhealthy competition meant to break you down. Now, how to win the unhealthy competition in the forest? Because the Five of Swords is the card of conflict, of competition. It is inevitable. You're going to see it everywhere, all the time, in your life. It is normal, okay? It is normal to have competition. How to survive that? How to win it? How to become stronger? And actually getting this role of the nightingale so you can pass on the wisdom that you gained in the forest for yourself, to your loved ones, and your, to your legacy. Okay? So with the King of Pentacles here, I truly see how you become this visionary, how you again one more time has a vision, you will have a vision, you will get a vision from your dreams, from synchronicity, so do not ignore synchronicities, okay? From angel numbers, you're being so generous here, giving the offering, giving something that you thought it means a lot to you, but then it transformed your situation it transformed your future 
and become this eight of cups it is shifting there is this change okay shifting the energy of shifting so at first there is this competition with the five of swords here okay there is this conflict that you cannot even run to that you cannot even run from okay it is normal for everyone to see the five of swords in the forest but then again with your energy as the king of pentacles you give some sort of offering you sacrifice your energy you sacrifice your hard work you giving donation and charity and giving a good deeds and that actually the secret that actually the secret but by being so generous by uh, becoming more of a visionary you know have a more vision about your future what you want to get what you want to achieve what kind of person that you want to become which is the king of pentacles having the energy of the nightingale you actually can transform or it actually the secret to have this eight of cups this shifting energy this changing there is this yes this is absolutely your situation is changing so you about to have some sort of transformation here that require you to give your time your energy your attention your material abundance to share it to the world your knowledge you you even give your sharing okay you share your knowledge too in order for you to change to sh change the situation to change the path to create the path that is actually pathless and to have this discovery full of discovery of the forest and in the end in the end my dear group number one there is this the lover's card waiting for you in the end of the forest you see there is this lover's card you will be feeling harmony you will feel in harmony with the energy surrounds you you feel more grateful you feel love around you because you realize even the universe in the forest supporting you because they want to see you successful this is your angels this is your guides. This is your mentors. This is the people that genuinely support you, that genuinely motivate you. So open your heart. Open the, the bridge with the nightingale. Open the bridge that connecting between your heart and the voice. So you will get the vision. And you will be the lover's card okay it is also possible for some of you you will get some sort of proposal or meeting someone new that you eventually like and be in relationship some of you you will find this harmony and union with yourself with your dreams with the thing that you fight for with your desire with your worldly pleasure and with a way out of the forest to win and actually master master the survival skills with the forest now let's find out your other card, Fairy of the Green World. The natural world needs you. Yes, with this number 44, it could be very uh, influential for you. The Fairy of the Green World wants to remind you that actually the world needs what you have. You born with a very unique skills and talent and you absolutely, my dear group number one, this is the secret that needs to be revealed to you. You actually are so precious and you can actually contribution, give contribution to the world in a very positive way based on your skills and talent. The world needs you. Yes, yes. They want to give this secret to you. They need you. And can you imagine, after you give that offering to the world, after you give that offering to the universe, after you give that offering to God, they will transform you. God will transform you. It will transform. Okay, especially when you give it generously, genuinely. Do not underestimate the power of being genuine. Okay, so that's specific message for you, group number you also have here i want to be a queen with this card 
this is one to reveal to you the secret that you need to state your sovereignty, state your power, claim your power over your destiny. You are the master of your own destiny. Claim that power, group number one. That's the secret that needs to be revealed to you. And the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you. Declare your freedom. Pass the task in the forest. Okay? I want to be a queen. Be the queen of your story. Because you are the queen of your own life. Okay? Make yourself proud. Claim the power. You are the master of your destiny. You are the magician. You are the queen. It's even said here, I want to be a queen. So your sole mission in this world really want to call you to claim your power, to get this leadership position for your own self even. Okay? Before you lead other people, before you lead your organization, before you lead your business, lead yourself first, lead your own life. Claim the power and restate your sovereignty, restate your power. Declaring your freedom, okay, and pass the task of this forest. Being so generous, being so disciplined and resilient. Build that resilient, endure that task, give your hard work. Okay, group number one. Now, you also have here a blessing on your intuition. Wow. With this card, you're about to have some sort of vision that will make you have more intuition, that will make you um, rely more on your intuition. You are born with a high intuition. Some of you literally a psychic. You literally see a lot of synchronicities right now around you. From angel numbers to clock watch to some words, some sentences that you see around you in the grocery store, in the, in the store, in school, in the office. A lot of synchronicities and it's all wants to give you, want to let you know the secret that you have the blessing on your intuition it wants you to nurture your intuition okay wants you to actually be honest of what you actually want to have in this lifetime now let's find another secret okay please show us the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to group one 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 please Ascending the mountain. Ooh, I got goosebumps here. Okay. Keep going forward, my dear group number one. Keep going forward. You are already on the right path. Keep going forward. Ascending the mountain. That you are destined to win in this life. To win in the forest. The mountain in the forest. You will climb it to the top. You will climb the ladder of success. And may you always rise Rise to the top, ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. That's the, the, the secret that needs to be revealed to you. Okay? That in this lifetime, you are meant to do something big and you are meant to have a very visionary, full of intuition, following your passion and dreams and transform your life to elevate higher. All right, may you always rise to the top and always remember that you have a lot of nightingales along the way that genuinely support you. And may you always be blessed, group number one. All right, group number one, that's your reading for today. If you love this uh, reading, comment below. Let me know what else uh, if you want me to make the video. Uh, please like this video, give me thumbs up, click the like button. Please support my channel by subscribing it. Click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me. Thanks for watching group number 111 and may you all always be blessed. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! 
Hello group number two, if you're picking picture number two, welcome to your reading. Back with me again, your girl Princess Tasha. Today we're going to find out that the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, okay? So let's reveal uh, the secret of the universe for you uh, this time. Uh, since you're picking picture number two, okay, you have the desert. Yes. Okay, if you can see it. All right, before I begin, I would be very grateful if you're willing to subscribe to my channel uh, because by subscribing it, you support my channel. So please support my channel by subscribing it, guys. Click the subscribe button because it will help me with the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. It also make me easier to get your energy for the next reading. And in return, you really help my channel to grow, all right? Group number 222. Two, two. The time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you. You got the desert. And you also have the medallion. Okay. You also have fortune, you have discrimination, and you have cosmic egg. The desert is the situation where you feel a little bit um, disoriented, feeling a little bit desperate for direction. You know, you're trying to get the meaning out of something. Now you, you are in the mission to find the meaning even of your life, you know. Uh, you want to get some sort of inspiration. You want to... Um, you want to find happiness in everyday life, you know, in the, in the chores, in the mundane life, in the activity, in the normal activity. Um, this is the cards about when you feel thirsty, you feel hungry, and pleading with life to get back to normal, to become animated by the simple pleasantries of day-to-day -day life. So with the desert, the secret that need to be revealed to you is that the desert offers no such comfort and you actually need to pass it, okay? You need to get out of that desert like this hand coming out to reach the medallion. You see? You see in the picture, the desert coming, it is the hand, but then we see that the hand reaching the medallions in the medallion cart above the desert. So it looks like you're hand coming out and trying to reach the medallion okay with this uh, the desert card here um With the desert, you already live, you already stay, you already sit with the discomfort for a long period of time or for some time, okay? You're stuck trying to get a new inspiration. You're trying to get a new solution. You're trying to be feel uh, satisfied. You're trying to feel inspired and satisfied, okay, about something. And the desert means that you also thirsty for a new creativity. You want to get some sort of creativity in your life, okay? And the secret is to be revealed is your hand. Your hand just need to survive that desert in order to get to the medallion. My dear uh, group number two. The passing on of sacred object is an ancient ritual within families, between lovers and in tribes across the globe. We give jewels, treasures, keepsakes, and mementos of all kinds, some of great material value, others that hold emotional resonance, and still others with both. Yet, when these gifts are bestowed upon us, it is important to recognize that they may bind us to an unspoken agreement or promise. When the medallion card appears, right, like right now, okay, 
be aware of how the objects you hold dear may be embedded with unconscious energy or expectations. Materials hold consciousness and it's time to reconcile the vibration of the objects around you. What do you collect and why? Is there an object you have held on to for years that you are ready to release? Okay, so it's about you protecting your resources. It's about how you honoring the tradition. This is about um, you upholding the tradition. You get some sort of, uh, you achieve some sort of precious object. Either it could be your achievement, your creation, something that you give birth in the middle of the desert. That's possible, okay? It is something so precious. This is the heirloom. It can be so precious. It's like you discover your new talent too. That's possible, okay? Group number two. With the desert, this is talk also about the drought, okay? And the desert is your place to do contemplation. It's a place for you to realize that you are not alone. Okay, you're not alone in desert. And then actually you will reach the water very soon and you will reach the medallion very soon. So that's one of the secrets that need to be revealed to you. When the desert coming in conjunction with the medallion card wants to let you know that um, it is probably dark, okay? But the discomfort of being in the desert truly giving you some sort of knowledge that someday you will reach the water. Someday you will reach the medallion. And, you, and we're going to find out how. Okay, we're going to find out how you can truly pass through this the desert and actually winning, getting the medallion, that precious achievement, that precious object, that heirloom something that you can be proud of something that is so precious that you just want to protect that you want to uphold that you want to nurture okay with the medallion here um there is this about something that you hold dear in your heart some sort of uh, expectation some sort of experience you know uh, some sort of um, ideal projection, ideal picture, okay, ideal situation that you want to achieve in the future, okay. You pick the picture number two, 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 okay. That's the picture of the desert, and the desert here wants to let you know that you will reach that medallion, that big rewards is actually on your path okay and now time is subjective right but then how can you go how can you go to that medallion you have what it takes you know you have surrounding you and some of you i have to say some of you probably facing some sort of discrimination a little bit in the past you had you had some sort of discrimination that truly shaped your character to survive in the desert, even though you did not have that, or even though you don't have some sort of discrimination anymore right now, but those experiences, those experiences truly giving you such, some sort of companion. So that's why the desert, you're not alone. You are being accompanied by something that you actually hold dear, the principle of non-discrimination something like that okay for an example but we're going to take a look here a deeper meaning of it okay let's take a look at uh, the discrimination card there With this discrimination, this is a Venus in Virgo. We see this. This is the picture of a woman. Her hair gra grandled, walks barefoot in the neat countryside. She reaches out towards the many butterflies. A small fox barks. Virgo cares for and rules smaller, more delicate creatures. There is this that be revealed to you that 
the event okay i just have to tell you this with this venus in virgo regardless of your venus position but there is this a close friendship that may go further it's either platonic or romantic now this platonic friend also can be closer and closer to your heart meaning that you will find uh, some sort of event or a way to create some sort of meaningful communication with this person and you have like continuous uh, communication with this person okay but also there's also uh, something that need to be revealed to you the secret is um, there is this total makeover about you, okay? A total transformation. You will about to go to a big transformation of your life, of your look, of your appearance with this Venus in Virgo. So there is this a total makeover with the way you see the world. That's also possible, okay? With how you perceive the world, that's possible. But there is this just sense of... Um, wants to see the world from different perspective you want to appear differently that is just just total makeover you will have a glow up so that's the secret that will be revealed to you your glow up is on the way okay you will look totally different and another event that will be a secret that will be revealed to you is there is this love affair with someone at the work for some of you okay that's possible a love affair with someone at work regardless of their status or your status but for some of you that single especially uh, and this person is your co-worker your colleagues your boss manager supervisor they more than likely have some sort of romantic interest in you if not it will develop into feelings because when we are asking the question about uh, reveal us the secret and the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you and this venus in virgo appeared this is giving us the description of the event that someone from the office someone that related to business or your side hustle your online business whatever someone that you call up together or your co-worker boss supervisor manager uh, even your junior um there's some love affair there okay and doesn't need to always end up in a permanent relationship or even a status relationship or committed relationship but there is this just feelings mutual feelings love affair okay uh, you start to see this person differently or this person start to give you more attention and start to have some sort of romantic interest in you okay now that medallion the things that truly giving you that that you know that feeling of uh, being very rewarded is actually your fortune with the sun the sun that okay that's the sun in leo now regardless of your sun position it is possible that this secret will be revealed when the sun position is in leo so sometimes around august okay that's possible july the end of july and august something like that so but also uh this is talking about your fortune a benign sun warms the world it's great rays giving a glow of creative life to to the small planet so there is this grand successful plan a great show or achievement you also gonna receive some sort of recognition some sort of achievement you're gonna be uh, very successful in your uh project in your creative uh, pursuit you also gonna show some talents and skills to the world to your office to the people around you they're gonna see your extra talent and skills it's gonna be shown okay to the people and also this is about successful offspring or another love affair so there is this just love affair also in the card okay so you're about to meet someone new that's possible and the time is probably when sun is in leo that's possible but time is subjective okay and time is illusion it can happen uh, three months from now or four months or even next year but this card of fortune is actually on your way okay but of course you trying this your character is being tested in the desert right now your determination is being tested how you believe in your own power how you try to give it all how you try uh, to practice that law of assumptions you know believing that you actually can truly achieve that medallion because look at the hand this one is still trying 
okay trying to get it but this one reaching it almost reaching it okay and then there is this just total makeover about you that you about to have in your life okay group number two with the cosmic egg this is about the secret that need to be revealed to you that gonna give you some sort of um way some sort of reason okay some sort of uh what's gonna happen okay so the cosmic egg is the final card in the journey of the animal spirit is the cosmic egg these represent the unfolding of cosmic consciousness so you will gain some sort of unconsciousness and consciousness the, the new consciousness okay so you will gain that knowledge from your experience in the desert and how you transform and got a lot of discrimination how you got total makeover how you get uh, to know other people that will become your love interest how you actually got your fortune and the lady fortuna smile on you with the sun in leo and how is the colorful cosmic egg is actually your animal spirit again and this state emerge after we have tread the path of quite some time and through self-effort and grace we experience self-realization so you will have some sort of realization awakening moment another awakening another new consciousness about yourself about your talent about your true power you're gonna gain that that's the secret that need to be revealed to you and the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you group number two okay this egg has not been activated. So this cosmic egg has not been activated. We may feel as if we will never get there. Exactly. Like the feeling you are in the desert. Like the feeling that when will I reach that medallion? Okay. It seems like my hand already going up, but he actually not high enough yet to reach that medallion. But it feels like that. Okay. So there is this just potent energy that stays within you. So that's the secret that needs to be revealed to you. You have a potent energy and it has not activated yet, you know. And then you feel that you just travel alone. But actually, you actually just disconnected from the power of the universe, from the power of the resources, from the unlimited power that you have inside of you. You know, the cosmic egg is actually a remedy for the fragmentation of modern life. It is through the power of this card that we are reminded of the cosmic contract written at the beginning of our life. You know, and life holds on to us. The journey is complete, but it does not end. So there is this something about you're going to complete your mission. You're going to reach that medallion. You're going to get your fortune you know so that's the secret that need to be revealed to you to give you some sort of motivation to see the future and to see life from different perspective to truly realize you have this colorful cosmic eggs that need to be activated okay if you say that oh i'm already awakening it's already activated you will get the new egg the new realization the new self-realization the new consciousness Okay, another consciousness from other sector, from the things that you think it's not needed, that's the thing that you need the most. From the thing that you underestimated, that's the thing that you actually need the most. That's your de desert, actually, okay? So if you say that, oh, yeah, I already got awakening, okay? I already been in the spiritual world for so many times, you know, for so many years, okay? You don't realize that you're actually still in the desert. That's why the, the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you. And with this cosmic egg, I want to let you know that you will get a new consciousness. Something that will be mind-blowing. Something that will make you realize that, oh yeah, I haven't reached that level actually. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I feel very grateful having that in my life. There is some sort of up-leveling yourself here okay let's find out now more a little bit more the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you please reveal the secret that need to be revealed to group two 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 please you have the king of swords you have the queen of swords oh wow okay
you have the Ace of Cups. And the Five of Wands. Yes, no wonder. Okay. No wonder. Now it's revealed to us. Now it's revealed. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you for revealing this to us. So, my dear group number two, this is what I see it here, okay? Please uh, see this with an open mind. If you don't like uh, blunt truth, if you don't like something that I say, don't watch it, okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat this, but this is the secret that you need to know. You have your fortune in the cards already, and you have the cosmic egg. Now, the thing that you need to know, the secret that being revealed, and I shovel the cards in front of you, okay? This card, I pre-shuffle this all, but this one I shuffled in front of you to let you know what kind of cards that appear. The five of wands is truly attract my attention. Why? Because it seems like it just want to be revealed in the end, but kind of want to give you some sort of information that you need to know that you need to be aware of there is this some sort of competition related to your work related to what you're doing like your job your work in the office or your side hustle side job or even if you're waitress there's another competition from another waitress dressing uh looking with uh coloring their hair just to attract other customer to distract other customer from you, that's possible, I guess, for some of you. It is also a colleague or co-worker in the office that try to get um, the attention from the boss or supervisor to give them promotion instead of you. But it's also about someone that just basically has this some sort of competition energy with you. They never see you as pure friends, okay? Even though in front of you, they're just thinking that you're just friend. It could be also in-law or cousin. But this is someone that truly see the cosmic egg inside of you. So that's the thing that you need to know. Other people see your potential, your big potential. Cosmic egg is something not small. Cosmic egg is something big. You're definitely protecting something good right now inside of you. Your talent and skills. Something that you truly, I think, you know what I think? I think your medallion is the cosmic egg. Look how this snake protecting the colorful egg it is like this and now we can truly see look at this okay you see this he's trying to get out of that desert reaching the medallion and the medallion is actually the cosmic egg this is the card of the completion the card of you reaching new consciousness reaching new level in life feeling more confident but the confidence is like unbreakable, is undefeatable. Because in order to get this medallion, the cosmic egg, you need to face some sort of competition. You need to see some sort of discrimination that makes you going to do some total makeover to yourself. The way that you see the world, the way that you do your job, your work ethic, your discipline, you know, your loyalty to yourself being questioned right now. Group number two. Okay, being questioned how bad you want this, how bad you really want this, how bad you really want to be successful and happy in life, and how your own effort truly can give some sort of contribution to activate this cosmic egg, your big potential. Okay, now with this five of ones, it is giving me a lot of attention because this is the card about competition, the card about defense, the card about debate. You will see some sort of defense from other people, defending their position, defending what they have, because they know you can take it anytime with your cosmic egg. You have what it takes, okay? But I think in the end, the king of swords and the queen of swords coming together, it's a very powerful combination of the masculine energy of the king of swords and the feminine energy of the queen of swords, okay? So that's the secret that needs to be revealed to you. Balance your feminine and masculine energy. And then you, you, you probably said to me, but it's hard. Of course, it's hard. Okay, it is hard. But then when you try it, you know, develop some skill of masculine energy and some feminine skill of uh, feminine energy, feminine energy, 
you will reach that balance, okay? You will get that balance uh, idea. You will have the Ace of Cups. That's the secret that needs to be revealed to you, group number two. You will have some sort of uh, beginning of relationship here. Exactly. That's what also with the fortune and the discrimination start, uh, the card, okay? There will be a beginning. Start an affair in love, um, romantic interest, and also in the work office. So it is also possible you start to see your work differently. You start love your job. You realize that your job is your blessing. Or there is this some sort of romantic interest that you get some sort of competition with other people, okay? So there's more than one people that try to get your heart to. Or there's some people that try to get your love desire, uh, com compete to get their attention, okay? But there's this just beginning of relationship the new relationship we see she's holding one cup ace of cups with a dove above her and this is the card about relationship the card about beginning the card about love so there is this new love cards in your path okay a new relationship and doesn't have to be in the office because the ace of cups can standing alone it can be from anywhere okay With the King of Swords here, this is the card about power, the card about ambition, and the card about influence. You will get some sort of influence from this person that have some sort of power, okay? And then this person will bring some sort of influence to you, will give you some sort of influence that will be your key to reach also the medallion. Okay, so there's this connection with a person in authority, the person in leadership position, the person that more than likely have some sort of power in neighborhood too, or they have um, ambition, great power, you know, they can be your uh, key, your counsel, okay, it can be your companion, or someone that just giving you a sign or a clue or a guidance in the desert, okay. You also have this, the Queen of Swords. I see this as your energy, that you want to seek the truth, that you want to show some sort of strength. You also have some sort of ambition. So when the student meeting the teacher, the energy meeting together, it can help you truly get out and reach that medallion, okay? By showing some sort of strength, showing the qualities of the Queen of Swords. Some of you literally have some sort of air in your birth chart, air sign water sign or fire sign okay um i see here leo sagittarius aries capricorn virgo taurus and or uh aquarius gemini libra so there is a earth sign too. but with the queen of swords here that is this just truth this is the card about truth, right? And the secret to be revealed to you, we can accurately say that this reading is pretty accurate for you, group number two, telling you that the cosmic egg, one of the cosmic egg is your ambition. So you might not realize it right now. You might not feeling that you're so ambitious right now, but you will develop that feeling of ambition. The thing that you want to desire, to have, the feeling of being successful, you will develop that feels, you will develop that feelings, okay? Now let's find out more, okay? You have ghost of the pumpkin patch. With this ghost of the pumpkin patch, it, it wants to give you the secret, number one, okay? So 111 also can be related to you. If you're attracted to pile number one, group number 111, go ahead, okay? This is also a sign number one. Maybe you see some synchronicities. So I see this a lot of synchronicities in you, okay? Now with this ghost of the pumpkin patch, the secret that needs to be revealed to you is count your blessings and may you attract a lot of reason to be grateful for, okay? That's also another secret, specific message for you to count your blessings. The more you count your blessings, the more you are grateful of your blessings, the more you're gonna be getting a lot of reason to be grateful for, okay? More abundance to come. You also have here, you are rare and free. So that's the secret that the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, that you are rare and free. There are not many like you. Yes, not so many people having the cosmic egg and realizing that they have cosmic egg inside of them and truly reach their best potential, reach the medallion moment. Mm -hmm. You are so rare. There are not many people like you 
Exactly. Because if it's easy, then everyone just gonna do it. So this secret being given to you right now, okay? To give you some sort of information, to realize your great potential and how to see life from different perspective, to truly reach your best potential as the medallion, to reach that medallion moment, okay? You also have here a blessing for good work. Wow, I'm surprised because this is discrimination when uh, the Venus is in Virgo. This is also about affair in the work place and then this is a blessing for good work look at her she look a very abundant look very radiant so there is this just blessing that you will get in your workplace relates to your job your office your side hustle your side business okay regardless of what kind job that you have right now you have the blessing for good work and the time has finally come for the secret to be revealed to you to realize that the good work that work is part of your blessings okay you can also move job but it is important to love what you're doing to truly realize the reason why you need to do that stuff to love the reason behind what you're doing too let's find out uh one last card here okay another secret for you Please show to us for group 222, two, two. for my viewers, the big group number 222. Two, two. The time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, my group 222, two, two, please. Wow, infinite abundance. Yes, yes, group number two. That the secret that has finally come to be revealed to you. Abundance is pouring into your life. Look at them. They work together. Yes, so this is related about new way of money, new stream of income. You will get a new way how to make money. This is related to your job too, okay? New project, new inspiration in the office. Abundance is pouring into to your life and the picture showing that these people work together i guess so you about to get and about to attract abundance that is pouring into your life group number three very beautiful okay very special all right group number two sorry group number two that's your reading for today give me thumbs up okay please like this video click the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also ring the bell so you will not miss any future readings from me thank you for watching group number two check out other group especially group number one because there must be another message for you there uh, check out my playlist i have so many videos that you will absolutely love it thank you so much for watching thanks for watching may you all always be blessed thank you and i'll see you on my next video hi group number three if you are picking picture number three or group number three or picture three 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 welcome to your reading back again with me your girl princess tacha and today the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you okay so we want to reveal the secret of the universe for you okay since you're picking picture three 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 or picture number three you got the ocean Ooh. all right before i begin i would be very grateful if you're willing to subscribe to my channel because that will help me with the youtube algorithm okay please support my channel by subscribing it don't forget to click the bell button or ring the notification bell so you will not miss any future readings from me okay thank you so much everyone that always support my channel group number three you have this the ocean okay you also have the bridge the ocean is something about the unconscious okay the power of the ocean is unmatched so the secret that need to be revealed to you first and foremost all okay right off the bat okay there is this power like the ocean that is unmatched and how you can actually across the state of being lack uh, to actually getting a deeper knowledge okay across that with the bridge with this ocean card the power of the ocean is unmatched 
To step into its salty waters is to step into the unknown. So you got some sort of a little bit salty moment or there are some people that salty to you because you are in the ocean. Because right now you are swimming, you're trying to save yourself, you're trying to finish this swimming in the ocean. Okay, You're trying to be on top, to come to the top to across the bridge okay so there's a little bit salty moment also that happened to some of you which is normal we all had that salty moment too but at this sorry but at this point in time okay you are attracted uh, to let me fix this you are attracted to the energy of the ocean okay the ocean card there is this just power of the unconscious. The, the ocean represents the unconscious. All that is beyond our understanding. Okay? We cannot live within the ocean. We cannot claim it, manage it, or own it. It rejects our every attempt to dominate nature. Yes, because ocean is just so wild. It's just so powerful. Okay, There is this just a lot of effort being rejected. A lot of attempt. You know, you cannot claim it you cannot manage it but there is one thing you can do you can cross it with the bridge mm -hmm. can you imagine if you can build that bridge or if you cross that bridge above the ocean then yes you can cross the ocean the energy of the ocean is present within you okay is present among us and when the energy of the ocean is present, there is change stirring that is beyond any change you have known before. There is this ego, the ego of the ocean that is just unmatched that need to be changed. You need to see yourself from different perspective. You need to master the skill of ego, how to tame your own ego. Okay, so that's the secret that also needs to be revealed to you. And the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, group number three. So you have a big dreams with this ocean card. Okay, you have a big dream. You have a deeper knowledge, a deeper reason why you want to have that dreams, why you want to achieve that dreams. Maybe some of you have a reason to help your family, help yourself, have a better income or just have a happier life. But there is this just also a uh, deeper uh, reason why you're being called in this lifetime to finish the mission of the ocean. Because there's a reason you're attracted to certain or particular picture or group. There is a reason. There's a message there. And at this point in time, you know, you can pick other group because there must be another message for you there. But at this point in time, you are, you are attracted for specifically to the group number three. That's the ocean. Now, like Aphrodite, we rise from the ocean's fraught, a new being. Life is changed, like the wave crash. So you will have some sort of crash, some sort of obstacles, some sort of, you know, challenges along the way. But that's okay. That's normal. That's what happened in the ocean. Okay? That's what happened, which is normal, guys. Okay? Which is something that you just, you just deal with it. You just, you know, you just see it. Okay? And you just experience it. So something that more than likely you cannot uh, get away with it. Okay? That's a normal happen in a daily life. Now with the bridge card here, this is about uh, how you handle the ocean. How you actually has the gate here. Okay? How you link the ocean. We see this, the picture of the ocean. How you link and cross the ocean with this bridge card how you winning now we see also you have acquisition okay you have practicality you have dolphin okay that's awesome Yes, this is very interesting, okay? So the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, group number three. There is these bridges, okay? The bridges that are built to connect two worlds. They create flow, allowing us to travel between realms, ideologies, personalities. 
this card is the gesture of acceptance, of saying yes, rather than withdrawing, separating and saying no. When we cross a bridge to an unknown land, we are led magically into a new reality. We open up to otherness. Healing and communication are made possible. We enter a state of curiosity wonder and learning so you will be more curious so that's how you can handle the ocean that's how you can tame the ocean even though it's unmatched even though it's unbreakable even though it's hard to claim the ocean because no one can truly claim it but you can truly manage it you can truly come up on top you can truly cross it with the bridge and the bridge is the understanding is the acceptance of your situation is how you see your situation differently is how you be able to create some sort of connection and link that will connect you with your spiritual realms, with your spiritual energy, with your spiritual power. Okay? Okay? Um, this card actually asks you to study the connection between the seemingly disconnected parts of your life like relationship ideologies history and remember that a bridge cannot be forced so you can create some sort of understanding you know with that competition with the people that trying to be salty to you but that cannot be forced but you can only give your positive energy to the connection you can only try so far but if the ocean doesn't want to be tamed it's not your fault and may you across it safely may you move on may you move to another ocean Maybe you move to the land after that part of the ocean. And the ocean also can be your grand mission in this lifetime, okay? I just have to tell you, uh, there is a reason why you're attracted to group number three. And there is also a reason why other people are you attracted to more than one group. Because there must be another message for you there. So I suggested you to watch other group, okay? Uh, if you're attracted to it. Uh, but there is this truly big mission that you have in life right now. And then... To cross that bridge, to create that connection, you know, to save yourself, basically, okay? To not be drowning, to not let yourself be drowning. And we don't see any drowning card here, okay? We don't see it right now. There is this energy of acquisition. This is talking about the sun. This is what you born to, regardless of your sun sign, okay? So let's find out what that card mean, okay? The deeper meaning of that acquisition card. That is the card of, I believe this is the sun in Taurus. The sun in Taurus is about material possession, material value, your moral value, feeling very comfortable. So there is this energy of, okay, so this is the, the secret that needs to be revealed to you, okay? When we ask the question, the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you. And the sun in Taurus, Taurus appear, regardless of your sun sign, there's this energy and event that involving pleasure, okay? So you will have some sort of pleasure related to your job, maybe business trip, or you about to go somewhere for your traveling, okay, for summer, or when sun is in Taurus, which is the end of April until May, that's possible for spring, but also the time is illusion, the time is subjective, so it can happen a month from now, three months from now, or even next year or this year, there is this pleasure card that you will get, okay, pleasure, this is about pleasure, the event of pleasure, so that the secret that being revealed to you, okay, this is also the card about discovery of something value, a winning, a gift, or a surprise receiving money so you will get a bonus you will get a good deals you will get some sort of another income a surprise of money okay so there's this just um there is this just feeling of you um truly getting something Okay, it's either vacation, material possession, money, even though it's small, that's acquisition and how you can truly be grateful and creating another bridge, you know, uh, donating charity, creating another bridge to attract more acquisition. Now with the practicality, okay, with the practicality, that's the moon card. 
okay i believe that's the moon in capricorn Okay, regardless of your moon sign, the moon in Capricorn want to let us know that this is about practical assistance. You will get recognition for patient and assuming work. You will get achievement through diligence. So it wants to give you a secret. It wants to reveal you a secret. That the secret is you can get that acquisition. You can across the bridge. You can across this ocean by doing dilig by being diligent, by doing persistent, by showing that you are persistent, by showing that you are so serious about getting this goal about getting these dreams by by taking action practical action practicality okay showing efforts this is related to work also so it can be your small business your side hustle your work in the office or your just self enterprise okay this is your own effort you attract more abundance here you giving effort to the universe you're not silent you're not lazy so that's the secret that being revealed to you so when we ask the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you is practicality okay don't underestimate the power of practicality don't underestimate the power of resistance the power of resilience and the power of determination show that determination show that hard work is true okay you will acquire that because in line in energy the moon in capricorn is earth sign and the sun in taurus is earth sign this is a very strong earth sign showing us that there's just i got a goosebump anyway <laughs> because this is so synchronicities guys okay this is so synchronicities it want to tell us that you truly creating that bridge you are starting creating it right now if you haven't start creating that creating that energy of being practical of also pursuing the practical life not just spiritual life but also balancing it because the bridge is about connection giving the link have a link of the spiritual connection and also the physical life okay the physical world but then you also got help from the energy of the animal spirit of the dolphin now let's find out what is the dolphin talk about more than likely i just have to tell you this you're about to go to the beach your vacation is about the beach your next vacation is visiting a beach somewhere or an island tropical island beach somewhere i don't know or even doesn't have to be tropical this is about island yes yeah, some of you gonna literally cross a bridge somewhere, you know, by car or walk. There is a bridge that you see there in the resort or whatever, but there's this to the cart of ocean, the bridge and dolphin. That's the animal spirit. If you can see the dolphin whenever you go visiting this tourist attraction or vacation, go for it. Because the dolphin is um your animal spirit right now. Okay. The dolphin is the totem. Now let's find out the message of the dolphin, okay? The dolphin literally wants to let you and us know that ooh, the dolphin is about intelligent, very intelligent about light about healer and blessing so you about the secret that need to be revealed to you is you about to receive big blessing in your life claim it group number two okay comment below i claim my blessings i claim my big blessings okay because that's your birth right when you realize that when you realize that you're not alone in the ocean when you realize that you can create this bridge actually with your practicality with the acquisition with your energy or, or feeling want to be practical want to acquire want to get something okay making it real Okay, truly, not just daydreaming, I want to get something, but truly take action. Start from something small, okay? Not not something big crazy with being a millionaire, okay? Start from something small and make it lead you to a bigger and better things in the future. Now with the dolphin card, okay? The gifts of the dolphin are beyond what our human minds can grasp. Dolphin personalities are often drawn to the healing arts as they are sensitive to the subtle and enjoy working on the level of spirit. It's easy for dolphin types to underestimate the impact they make in the world. These creatures play such an important role in the wheel of karma that coming in contact with a dolphin type will change the entire course of your day and thus your life. This card can also indicate a profound blessing is on the way. Yes, guys, you have your good karma on the way. I got goosebumps here. Yes, it's, it's synchronicity. Yes, that's the secret that being revealed to you right now. You're attracting it and may you claim it, claim your power, claim your 
good blessings okay keep planting good seeds keep doing good things to people okay keep having that uh, good genuine interest in people have a good heart if other people hurt you if other people being salty like in the ocean being salty to you let them be like that may you always attract your good karma for you okay for your future this is your animal spirit want to reveal to you the secret that big blessing is on the way that yes 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 it's your destiny to be happy in this life, that you deserve to be happy. This dolphin is so smart, so intelligent. So develop your skills. Read more books related to your career, to your hobby, okay? Gain more knowledge about it. Be more knowledgeable. Gain some sort of experience related to it, okay? Let's find out now. It's very interesting, right? Let's find out. The time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, group number three. Please show us. Please show us to group, to my viewer, the big group 333 or group 3, please. The time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, group 3. You have 10 of ones, okay? Yes. You have 10 of pentacles, I see, yes. Yes, it's synchronicity. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Please reveal to us the secret. Please, for group number three. You have Ace of Swords. Okay. You have Queen of Cups. Yes, of course. Of course. You know, guys... Um, when we talk about the ocean, this is about the energy of the water, right? The energy of the water. And when we talk about cups in the tarot card, this is also about the energy of the water, the emotion, the depth of the emotion. And only the queen of cups and the king of cups, the king and the queen, okay? The big card of the, the minor arcana, okay? The big card of the minor arcana. The one that can truly winning in the ocean. I shuffled this tarot card in front of you, even though I pre-shuffled this card, but I shuffled this in front of you to show you what kind of cards that appear. And I got goosebumps. It's synchronicities because hear me out, okay? If you um I'm not gonna sugarcoat it, okay? I'm gonna tell like it is what I sit here, but I see the ocean is the water energy. It's not earth energy this is the water energy but you'll be able to create this bridge with the earth energy with the earth energy regardless of your sign it doesn't matter where is your sun sign located where is your moon sign located it doesn't matter at this point okay because this is just about how you acquire how you acquisition how you acquire that energy of the earth and mimicking that earth energy and doing that practicality regardless of your sun sign moon sign okay now with the queen of cups here this is the card along with the king of cups okay because that's a symbol of the water energy cups is the symbol of the water energy is the one that can handle the ocean is the one that can winning in the ocean mm -hmm. not the ace of cup not the two of cups but the king and the queen of cups so when we got the card of the ocean when the ocean card coming in conjunction with the queen of cups in the question of the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you it wants to let you know that you have the dna of the queen of cups energy the queen of cups has this some sort of influence inside of you in your unconscious and how you can create that link in your spiritual to access exactly to access the power of the queen of cups relying on your animal spirit of the dolphin someone that is intelligent someone that is smart okay someone that is happy go lucky okay that attract happiness by being grateful the queen of cups is about creativity it's about intuition it's about compassion however in the beginning the card of the Ten of Wands appear in conjunction with the ocean, telling us that yes, 
you might feel you have a lot of burden, you have a lot of obligation, you feel tired sometimes, but that's okay. That's how they shape your character. That's how the ocean wants to see how serious you are in tackling this, in handling this. How you really serious want to create that bridge from the ones. You creating that ones, creating the branch of the trees, creating the bridge for you, okay? So this is the state of feeling overwork, feeling overburdened, which is normal. Everyone feel this way. But you see, with the Ace of Swords, this is the card about change, about making decision, but also about action. You're being called to take action, you know? You're being called to be the agent of change, to call your practicality energy, to use it, okay? To use it. And now you see... When the Queen of Cups truly can handle, truly can uh, manage to get her intuition, to follow her intuition, okay, to have compassion to, your, to herself, but also to other people. So regardless of your gender, you have the energy of the Queen of Cups, okay, to handle this ocean. And that's the secret that also needs to be revealed to you, group uh, number three. You see another thing that I see? I hope you see it, but I'm going to tell you what I see. I'm so excited. This is the synchronicity. You know what? See it here. The Ten of Pentacles card here has the same energy with the acquisition. Look at this. They both coming in a couple. And acquisition is the sun in Taurus. The Ten of Pentacles is the energy of the earth. Pentacles is the energy of the earth. Okay, so there is this synchronicity. We can pretty accurate, we can pr say that this reading is pretty accurate for you, group number three, showing us that the secret need to be revealed to you is yes. You will get a partner. This is could be business partner, could be someone that you collapse, you find new connection, you open your heart to someone, or this could also mean an organization that you feel your heart being called to, or this is about you and your partner in the future. You guys acquire something, you create some sort of legacy. This is also mean you and your heart, you and your mission, you and your ocean, creating the bridge to reach this Ten of Pentacles moment. The card about prosperity, about abundance, about inheritance. Now it is the same with the acquisition, the same energy about prosperity, about abundance, about family, about inheritance. Something that you can inherit it to your legacy. Something that you will acquire with your energy. This is the secret to be revealed to you. Yes, that's the question. When we ask the question, the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you. And the Ten of Pentacles coming in conjunction with the Acquisition card, okay? Coming in conjunction with the Acquisition card wants to tell us that you, my dear group number three, you will have this prosperity and family and acquisition on your path in the future time could be an illusion could be subjective okay so um it could be happen in a couple years it could happen in a couple months but there is this just energy of being in the family being united with someone with the same mission creating abundance and attracting prosperity okay wow wow <laughs> let's find out more okay you have Angel of Alchemy. Yes, number 21. So 21 could be, uh, has a good meaning for you too, okay? Has some sort of meaning. With the Angel of Alchemy, this is about the alchemist. You will receive some sort of miracle, some sort of transformation, some sort of glow up. But this is also a miracle, a way out, okay? So that's the secret to be revealed to you. You will get some sort of inspiration through dreams, um, through synchronicities to help from other people, from someone that you will meet, you will create this together, that you will get help with, okay? Someone that's truly really being so kind to you. You will attract miracle from the universe, miracle from God, okay? So make sure you create that bridge, a connection with your spiritual world, okay? Pray more, meditation more, okay? Uh, put yourself first also for spiritual things, okay? If you have some sort of religion or some sort of spiritual practice to attract good luck, to attract uh, miracles, to attract uh, good things and always uh, go, uh, do good deeds and may you always attract good things happen in your life, attracting miracles. So that's also the secret that needs to be revealed to you. 
group number three. But you also have here impossible things. Yes, yeah, so I see it here. You're working through disbelief. So it is it is normal to sometimes feel that you cannot handle the ocean, which is no one can tame the ocean. The ocean is just hard, okay, hard to tame. But you actually working through it by creating the bridge, you know, realizing your talent and skills and developing what you have right now. You are someone that truly gonna achieve impossible things. Remember, the, the word impossible means I am possible. I'm possible. I am possible. For other people, it looks like it's impossible, but for you, this is so real. Okay? Imagine you have these leaps of faith and fresh perspective. So you will get some sort of fresh pr perspective, some sort of idea, some sort of um, inspiration that you can get. You know, with the dolphin card here. People sometimes underestimate the dolphin because they just look friendly. But they're actually smart. Dolphin is the smart animal. They have a good mind. They have that intelligence. Use your mind, group number three. I've been telling you to use your mind. Okay? Use your mind and may you walk on the beach enjoying this ocean. Creating the bridge. Cross that ocean. Use your mind to achieve the impossible things. Start from small, okay? Use that law of attraction, law of assumptions, okay? If you know that stuff, if you haven't, go ahead, look at it online. But there is this just impossible things. When the impossible things coming in conjunction with the angel of alchemy, you three are being told, being revealed to you that there's this just miracles. There's this just energy of the alchemist inside of you too. You'll be able to transform your uh, situation. Okay, group number three. That's the thing. That's the secret that being revealed to you actually. Okay. You also have here a blessing to heal a relationship. Yes. So you will get some sort of blessing to amend the relationship to just... Um, Move on, you know, make a peace with your heart and move on. You don't have to forgive this person right away. Only time can forgive, but you will get that blessing to heal a relationship, to heal yourself from that relationship, okay? The energy of healing. And also dolphin has that ener energy of healing, a healer, someone, a profound blessings, okay? Let's find out also with the last card. Let's find out a more secret for you. The time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to you, group number three. For my viewers, they pick group number three or three, three, three. Please show us that the time has finally come for this secret to be revealed to my group number three, please. Or three, three, three. For my viewers, they pick three, three, three or group number three. Wow, yes, yes, oh my God. Reaching your destination, yes. This is being guaranteed, okay? Regardless of the time of the completion, but your light is shining brightly. Look at this. You will find your path to the castle, okay? You will find your way. Your light is shining brightly, and it comes from the bridge, the connection of your spirituality, your soul mission. Okay, your good karma, your good deeds, your blessing will give you light to reach your destination. And yes, yes, you will reach your destination. So this reading wants to reveal the secret to you that you about to reach your destination, that you will receive your dreams, that you will reach your destination. Your light is shining brightly, my baby, okay? You will have these vibes that just so bright, okay? Because you maintain that happy energy, being so grateful. It is normal to see up and down in life and mood swings, you know, with external factor, but it is important to guard our mind, to create that bridge, create 
create the connection and link with the spiritual world to connect to your spirituality to access the knowledge in your unconscious okay you reach your destination reaching your destination and your light is shining brightly yes this is your light this is your vibes this is your soul mission your birthright is to reach your destination to make it dreams come true all right group number three that's my reading for you today give me thumbs up okay please like this video click the like button okay please subscribe to my channel click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel and also ring the bell or click the notification bell button so you will not miss any future readings from me go ahead check other group if you are being called to and attracted to other group because there must be another message for you there and check out my playlist i have so many timeless pick a card readings that you will absolutely love it thanks for watching group number three please support my channel by subscribing it thanks so much for uh, watching my video and i'll see you on my next video thank you so much and bye bye